This video is all about the UK physical landscapes. Uh, there are three topics within this unit, coastal geography, river geography and uh, glaciers. The focus is about all, how all three of these um, processes have affected uh, the landscape of the United Kingdom within the within the wider within the wider British Isles, which is sat um, to the eastern side of the of the Atlantic Ocean. We've got the North Sea across here, uh, the English Channel, uh, and then Europe, uh, continental Europe to the to the south and to the to the to the east of us. Okay, um, and when we look at uh, the United Kingdom, we can see it's a, we are a, a country of, of coasts, rivers, and and islands and uplands. You can see some of the major rivers there. Within the UK, the the longest river is the is the River Severn, followed by the River the River Thames. Okay, the overall area of our country is 242,000 kilometres squared, and uh, if you measure the distance between John O'Groats and Lands End, those are the two most extreme points north to south on the uh, Great Britain mainland. Uh, the distance is 874 miles. Okay. Uh, we have 6,000 islands within the United Kingdom, only 136 of those are inhabited. And then we have several upland areas, so uh, from south to north there's uh, Dartmoor, Exmoor, Snowdonia, which is uh, the mountain range that runs through Wales. Uh, we've got the Cumbrian Mountains, uh, the Cheviots and the Pennines running in northern, northern England, the southern uplands in, in southern Scotland. We've got the North York Moors across in the, in the east, just south of where I'm from. Uh, the Grampians and then the Northwest Highlands. Uh, the highest peak in our country is Ben Nevis at 1,345 uh, metres in Scotland. Okay, there it is. Um, and the top 75 peaks in the British Isles, they're all in Scotland. So um, you have to wait till you get to number six until you get to Snowdon, which is the highest peak in, in Wales. Um, and then the highest peak in England is Scarfell Pike. Um, at 978 metres. Okay, so there's a nice picture of Scarfell Pike. Okay, Scarfell Pike's in the Lake District National Park. Um, we do have areas below sea level. Okay, at the lowest part of Great Britain is Holm Fen, um, close to Peterborough, um, at 2.75 metres below the actual level of the of the sea. And you can see that low lying area there. Uh, a different way to look at the geography of the UK would be to think about in, in terms of uh, a collection of drainage basins, and you can see those there. Um, so you can see the River Thames Basin down here, the River Severn Basin down here, those are two major ones. The River Ouse Basin that flows through York uh, is here, um, my local basin here, the River Tyne, um, and the mighty River Tees across, across here. So the lesson um, will take you through. Um, UK's relief rivers and landscapes so it's the idea is that you understand at the end of it um, what sort of physical landscapes we've got in the United Kingdom uh, where our upland areas are and our rivers are um, so the tasks are pretty straightforward you've got a, a, an atlas map there of the United Kingdom with the highlands marked on um, and some of the lowland areas in the, in the darker green uh, so you can describe the distribution of, of where those upland areas are using the map and the lowland areas uh, basically, I was always taught as a child, if you went from uh, the River Tees down to the River X and drew a line, most of the upland areas are north and west of that line and the uh, lowland areas and the undulating or rolling hills are to the south and the east of that line. Um, a lot of the geology up here is igneous, it's very tough rock that takes a long time to weather and erode. A lot of the geology down here is sedimentary. This video will help you as well. Um, you can click on the link. Um, it's an aerial tour of Britain. Uh, it's maybe a little bit long. You can maybe watch the first five minutes, but you can produce a spider diagram there of all the different landscapes that you see within the United Kingdom. You can fill in this map on your worksheet as well. Um, you might need an atlas to help you, but the, the answers to it are on the are on the next slide, so you could use that. Okay, and then there's a little bit of skills practice as well. Um, so you will need to use the map, you'll need a ruler as well. Um, to give compass directions, you're going from one point to another. So the, the first one's from the Hebrides to the Pennines. So you're going from the Hebrides up here, down to the Pennine Hills. So I've drawn an arrow on there, and then you just need to use the point, your point of the compass uh, to work out which way that is. On the scale um, questions, okay, um, 
the scale on this map when you print off your sheet at 500 kilometers equals four centimeters um, so you just measure between the points there we go we've got um, Exeter down here so if we go from Middlesbrough to Exeter at Middlesbrough there Exeter there that's measuring six centimeters we know that four centimeters equals 500 kilometers if I don't have to divide four into 500 I get 125 kilometers so I would have to times six times 125 which will give you 750 kilometers and then the third one uh, just asks you to provide latitude and longitude so the first one's X um, if you went out west from X you're looking at about 58 um, degrees and maybe 35 40 minutes north and three degrees west you can see those just here and up here okay so you should be able to do the others on your own and then review your learning good luck with that okay and we'll just finish up with a little dad joke uh, why is uh, the uk the wettest country because the queen has reigned there for a very long time good luck with your lesson